Hi, I'm Captain Chris. I'd like to talk to you about some do-it-yourself boat owner maintenance. One of the more common problems associated with pleasure boating are the diesel fuel filters. Not that the filter is a problem, but that the fuel going through the filter may clog up the filter and require you to change it. This is a dirty filter that goes inside of this filter body and you can see in the pleats how dirty it is pretty much like a bagless vacuum cleaner and this is all dirt and debris so you ask the question where does the dirt and the debris come from and it comes from dirty fuel like this you may be able to see the fuel is red which is USA off-road diesel fuel and in the bottom of this you might see all of that black coffee grounds all that funk that is one thing that will plug up your fuel filter Another thing that can plug up your fuel filter is just contaminated fuel. You can see here at the line, we've got water down here at the bottom, sludge that's actually floating, and then dirty fuel. Notice the different color of the reds. The dark red cranberry color is good fuel. This is bad fuel. And watch this. So all of this junk, there might be a better word for it, but all of this junk will get trapped inside your fuel filter, and that means you'll have to change the fuel filter. And then you think, well, why do I have to change it so much? And the answer is you've got a dirty fuel tank. Some other things I'd like to show. This is chocolate. So we talked about off-road boat marine diesel fuel being cranberry in the USA. This is motor oil, and at the bottom is water. So. If you check your oil and it looks like this, that means you've got water in the crankcase on your engine and you've got a serious problem that you need to take care of. Could be heat exchangers leaking water, but in our do-it-yourself boat systems class, we'll teach you how to look for that and troubleshoot it. And now we're talking about another red fluid, which is different than red diesel fuel. This is ATF, Automatic Transmission Fluid, and you can see we've got water in the bottom of that also. So these are some boat owner things that you need to learn how to monitor and to check on a daily basis. Other things on the boat would be bilge pumps, raw water cooling systems, air conditioners, generators, electricity, 12 volts, 24 volts, 110 volts, 220 volts, We'll cover a lot of information in our two-day class in Vero Beach. Have any questions? Ask Captain Chris.